Today we're gonna to be looking at a very often asked about item in my shop, and that's my dropper bottle paint racks. Hey guys, welcome back to Black Magic Craft. It is Tuesday, so that means today I'm gonna to share with you a product, technique, or idea, and today it's actually gonna be a product. You've seen them quietly sitting in the background of so many of my videos, and a ton of you have asked about them. I think every single video I make, somebody asks what these paint bottle rack holders are. So today, we're gonna to look at these. There's a lot of different paint organizers and holders on the market. Tons of people doing different laser cut MDF wood kits, but the ones that I use are from shiftinglands.com. Now, just so you know, I have never ever been paid in any way to endorse or show Shifting Lands products. And I show them a lot on this channel. And that's just because I really like them and I really use them a lot. So they end up in a lot of my videos. But I will let you know that because I've been such a good brand ambassador for the company and a friend of Gerard, he does send me free items from time to time. And he did give me these ones for free. So there you go, you know. But I make no commission sales on if you buy these or not. I just like them and that's what I use. I previously had two of these mounted actually right here, lower down, and you probably saw those a lot in my videos. And those were housing my relatively small Reaper paint collection. But over the past few months, I've been personally putting more effort and focus into miniature painting, trying to get a bit better at it, trying to do more of it, trying to improve my painting skills. And with that, I've really added a lot to my paint collection. I've picked up a bunch of Vallejo paints and some Green Stuff World ones, some various other ones through some of the loot crates that I've gotten. Point of the story is, been doing more mini painting and my collection of paint has grown. So I needed more storage. Because I liked the two that I already had, I decided to get more of the same. Now I have six of these that will house a quickly expanding collection. Each rack holds 48 dropper bottle style paints. So these are gonna work with Vallejo, Reaper, Army Painter, and whatever other brand of paint uses dropper bottles. They will not, however, work with Citadel style pots. <laughs> Citadel pots, I don't like them anyway. And these are a pretty simple product. They're basically just MDF cut in a grid that holds paint. But there's two features about these ones in particular that I really like. The first is that there's three options as to how you use them. You can either wall mount them or keep them on your desk. And on the desktop option, there's two different angles you can hold them at. So there's actually these triangle wedge pieces that you can put on the back of these and they will hold them upright and at an angle and you can switch the orientation to decide if it's a steep or tall angle or you can just take these wedges right off and mount them directly to the wall like I have. The other cool feature about them, and this is actually a new change on the ones I just got versus the early version that I had previously. Now there's actually a hole at the back of each space. And that small hole allows the lid of a dropper bottle to actually pass through. So you can store your paints lid in first. And this hole lets it go in deeper and also holds it secure and level. Of course, you don't need to store your paints that way. You can, like I do, store them with the cap facing out, but if you want to just see the back end of the paint and the color, this is really nice because it lets them slide in further and sit nice and even and they're not flopping around. And if you're wondering why I choose to put mine lid out, it's because I actually find it more beneficial to see the color of the lid to help me know which line of paints it actually is and I can see enough of the color in the bottle. But a lot of people like to put theirs in with the bottom of the pot sticking out. Like all Shifting Lines products, these are made out of MDF and laser cut and they come in a bunch of pieces and you have to assemble them. It's a little bit like putting together a puzzle or Ikea furniture, but 
it's not that complicated. The first one can be a little bit tricky, but once you've done one, if you're doing more, they become really easy. I assembled like six of them in under an hour, just a little bit of PVA or carpenter's glue to hold them together, put them together and you're done. Uh, I did leave mine stacked up in some books with some weight to make sure all the joints were really secure as it dried, but really wasn't a big deal. It was kind of fun. You may have noticed that mine are black, however, and that's because I don't really like the look of raw MDF the way they come, so I quickly spray bombed mine using a flat black spray paint. There's not really much more to show with these because they are a very simple product, but they're really handy. They help me keep my desk organized, which is really important, and I know a lot of you have wondered what brand of shelf or rack these are. So if you want to pick some up, shiftinglines.com, I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. The one problem with ordering from them is that they are in the Netherlands. So for those of us in North America, that can make shipping fairly expensive and kind of cost prohibitive, especially if you're just ordering one item. I believe, now don't quote me on this because I could be wrong, but I believe it is flat rate shipping. So whether you order one item or five, it's gonna cost the same. So it is definitely the most cost effective to order a couple things at once, like some jigs for a Proxon if you have it, to make the shipping more reasonable or, or maybe go in with a buddy or two to combine shipping. Again, don't quote me if it's flat rate still. It was last time I talked to Gerard, but by all means, send him an email, super nice guy. Uh, he will help you out figuring out a way to get his products to you in the most reasonable way possible, considering it still has to travel over an ocean. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little product video. If you did, hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below. What I'd really like to know is, are you using a different brand or a different company that makes a similar product? Feel free to put links in the comment section below to the products that you use to organize your workspace, your paints, whatever. You know, even if it's not paint racks, it would be nice to see all the different stuff out there, your thoughts on whether you like what you use or you don't, so people can see all the different options. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I will see you again on Friday for the crafting video. Cheers.